that's yes. so we draw a curve okay i introduce to you uh, this is the critical point okay I draw, then I'll discuss in details. Okay. I draw. Okay. So here, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So our direction will be. I have to show the direction, otherwise you will not understand. So here, uh, I hope you will be clear after all here. <coughs> it's P, it's B. If we represent P and B line, it's pressure line, it's volume line. And we can uh, cannot do it. Okay. This basic cycle of refrigeration, basic cycle of RSE, okay, refrigeration. So, one, two, this particular point, one, two, one thicket, two, this point work done by compressor work done by compressor okay work done by compressor terminal w wc point one it will go point two this function will be done by the compressor okay and point five two point one it will be the chamber of the refrigeration and here will be heat absorption from the product if we represent it as a freeze that will be here the chamber will be the food and frozen food here and latent heat absorption from the frozen food and this gas will be the low pressure vapor okay so low pressure vapor uh, gradually when it will come to the point one it will be the low pressure vapor and enter the compressor compressor work done and change the uh, pressure and temperature of this gas, low pressure gas. It will be the high temperature and high temperature send, send into the point 2. Okay. It's point 2, it's called the superheated region. Point 2 called the superheated region. So, you have to understand the superheated region. What is this? Before starting the uh, <coughs> thermodynamics chart, uh, the well otherwise you will not understand the superheated region why why do i call here superheated region okay so this superheated region uh, the maximum temperature of the gas okay maximum temperature max temperature of the gas okay and this process is evaporator process okay you know that evaporator heat absorption from the uh, food of this particular chamber if i uh, represent this figure as a freeze a refrigerator as a refrigerator freeze deep freeze so and three two thick three this is called the superheated region when the gas starts in this part it's called okay in this curve when gas starts uh, here it will be the start the condensation it will be start the corner it hello it this it is called the condenser this is the condenser it will be start the condensation the after condensation the gas the pressure the temperature will be less because this function this condenser area the heat rejected and heat draw out through the outside air okay outside so condenser function will be done 
heat rejected and gas temperature will be down then when it touch the floor sm is totally completely gas gas will be the liquid form it will come the liquid form when touch it the point 4 here here i mark here okay from three point of the curve starting the gas high pressure high temperature gas will be pressure drop here and as a result the gas will be temperature down and gradually down and finally when it touch um, as the left side car point 4 it will be the quite completely uh, liquid form and liquid form after rejection of the heat by the condenser this part is called the condenser a condenser uh, must do heat rejection and heat uh, throughout inside um, outside the uh, or ambient atmospheric heat drought uh, inside atmospheric okay and point 4 uh, to point 5 this called the uh the uh, expansion system what is the expansion system expansion system bolte is called the expansion valve also its uh, expansion valve the uh, several kind of expansion valve uh, uh, according to their place okay if i um, as a refrigerator so it will be uh, capillary tube here so what is the function of the expansion valve action expansion valve mainly um, follow the refrigerant liquid refrigerant according to their uh, chamber of the evaporator demand okay according to the demand of the evaporator i mean the according to the demand to evaporator the expansion devices uh, follow the particular gas inside the chamber or evaporator okay if evaporator need the high uh, maximum gas to uh, maximum heat absorption from this uh, food or frozen food or fresh food so expansion device automatically it just uh, maximum gas uh, maximum liquid gas follow inside the evaporator chamber so it's called the expansion chamber okay expansion so expansion when it will be inside the chiller project bhr system it's called the electronics expansion valve used here and basically this it's called the capillary tube capillary tube work as a expansion valve because capillary tube is just um, controlling the uh, refrigerant um, liquid refrigerant and send it the according to demand of the evaporator so i want to summarize this video right now here so summarize this video right now here okay so one two it's our work done by compressor compressor responsibilities it will be uh, come from the low pressure and low temperature gas and uh, that will be come from the evaporator and it will be make it high pressure and high temperature gas then send it to the condenser okay ekhon condenser uh, before going with condenser it will be point 2 it's superheated region superheated region that's mean maximum uh, temperature of the gas and maximum pressure of the gas it will be stay here and 2 theke 3 when it touch the this curve this curve point 3 here it will be starting the condensation by this condenser because of the condenser function uh, he he just rejected heat from this um, vapor gas when it is the vapor gas heat rejection vapor gas automatically condensing i mean the condensing condensing mean the heat after heat rejection um, the gas will be transfer from the um, their phase i mean the vapor to uh, liquid phase after rejection the heat by the condenser then it will be uh, quite complete con uh, liquid form when it starts the left hand side uh, point for uh, curve okay